The next Halo Infinite flight is happening on September 24th, but it brings some new content that we haven't experienced yet. The addition of training mode and a new map as well for PvP? That wasn't part of the last flight? Well, it looks to be so. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So as many of you know, and we did report this on the channel yesterday, that the Halo Infinite flight is happening on September 24th. The last day to register for your Halo Insider program is on September 13th, which happens to be the last day of the MCC flight that's currently going on right now. But it looks like this flight will offer way more than just BTB and player versus player modes. So I've done some snooping around the internet to find out what exactly is all that new content. So if you guys like these news and informational videos and want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo as I ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, well, make sure you tap subscribe so let's get right into the content here so to provide the proper context of what's going to be new with this game here for the next technical preview i have to check out this tweet from sketch the community director of 343 we're doing a nice little retweet and some replies to the initial tweet saying hey it's happening on the september 24th right down here he says in case you missed it bots will be back with some improvements academy will return some updates and the addition of training mode, which we'll get into a little bit later. And there will be a much bigger focus on arena PVP, this time including a new map, which I think I have a pretty good idea what that map is, and some objective modes. BTP is also on the menu. And if BTP is on the menu, you better believe I'm ordering seconds and I'm probably ordering another one for home for takeout as well. So what could this training mode be? This seems to be an addition to the academy. And just so we're all on the same page, the academy is the place where you do like your weapon drills and it's a location where you pretty much get like all caught up with like the mechanics of Halo. It's a great way for new players and returning players of old to get back into the swing of everything that comes with Halo. But I believe we already saw a little bit of a preview of what this training mode is. So the multiplayer overview video that we had a while ago, talking about the academy and things you can do within the game, there is a specific menu that showcased right here saying training mode, training options on the map Behemoth, which was showcased in a previous cannon fodder as well, which we'll get into a little bit later in this video. And this seems to be the training mode is the place where you can play against bots. And it's not gonna be just matchmaking. It seems to be kind of like a custom game kind of experience, playing against bots, which seems to be a great way to kind of warm up. You can select your primary, your secondary weapons, your grenades, your equipment, the friendly bots, how many there are, how many enemy bots there are as well, the difficulty. And it seems like you can kind of just change this all on the fly since this looks to be an in-game menu as well, which is going to be a great way for just kind of just jumping in and playing rather than having to, you know, preset everything. And then once you jump into the game, it's not exactly how you want it. So that's kind of like one of the things I think is going to be really helpful when it comes to playing around with the training mode is to finally get a chance to just you know mess around with some of the settings to see what works best for you and just have some fun shooting up some bots and kind of a custom game kind of experience as like a warm-up this is gonna be a great way for if you're worried about like not playing super well within the flight you can jump in kind of get your aim set up ready to go and then once you feel more comfortable you can jump in and start playing some multiplayer matches in arena and b2b that we'll have as well so let me know in the comment section you guys can be jumping around playing around with the training mode as well playing around with the settings maybe some new weapons and stuff like that because i think this is where you really get a chance to kind of experience how these weapons play out even probably better than the actual weapon drills themselves Actually, if you put the bots into a higher difficulty, they'll be doing some more natural kind of player movements and techniques where you really get a better chance to see how these weapons play out compared to bots that just stand right in front of you with no cover and just kind of walk in a straight line or just stand still completely. Now, if you guys remember from the last flight, we had a few maps where we had a chance to play on. We had a chance to play on Recharge, Live Fire, as well as Bazaar. So those three maps, but we're getting a brand new map with this update. So what is that map going to be? Well, I think we're actually going to get maybe two maps, honestly, but the first map I think we're going to take a look at is going to be the map Behemoth, I feel, is going to be coming in with this game update as well, because it's another 4v4 PvP arena map, and it seems to be the only map that we've seen so far that's a 4v4 map that also has vehicles on it. And I'm sure 343 definitely wants to test out how the public plays with these new vehicles in the new map with this new sandbox and see how the balance actually works out, because this flight is where we're really going to get a chance to test out the balancing of Halo Infinite within the sandbox. 
The next map I think we're gonna get with this flight is the map Fragmentation. As you can kind of see, this is pretty much like all but confirmed to be a BTB map. It has the Pelican dropping in right here with something coming in probably. Uh, they did mention that Pelicans are gonna be dropping in with different weapons and vehicles throughout game mode of a BTB game. And this image being the only multiplayer map with a Pelican that seems to be more in the playable space. So it makes me think that this is definitely gonna be a BTB map and also just the general scale of the map itself. I highly doubt this is a 4v4 arena map i mean plus we also saw it within the uh, gameplay trailers as well for the multiplayer a bunch of vehicles being utilized right on this map now there was a lot of vehicles on this map so i don't know if we're going to be seeing all these vehicles on the map at the same time i think that would be a bit much again we'll just have to wait and see they could have just mock this whole thing up just to make it look cool for the trailer which obviously 343 and just game companies in general do quite often now sketch also mentions within that tweet that there are going to be some objective modes added in as well which we have seen some capture the flag when it comes to the gameplay trailers those are part of some challenges as well so i totally would expect capture the flag return beyond that it seems like it's kind of up to 343 what kind of other objective modes they're going to be bringing in so there's more than just capture the flag coming in. We did see Oddball in one of the tech preview videos as well. So we could get Oddball and capture the flag added into the mix of 4v4 PvP Arena, which I am all for that. Some of my favorite game modes, especially capture the flag. But could there be some kind of new crazy mode that 343 just hasn't revealed yet? Maybe with Arena, maybe with BTB. We don't really know. And we won't know until we actually get a chance to play it, which will be on September 24th. And as we get closer to the date, I'm sure we'll get some more information. We'll probably get a live stream as well, detailing everything within this upcoming flight. We do already know of some big changes that are coming for this flight exactly from the learnings from the previous flight. We have an update to the Needler, the Plasma Pistol, and Gravity Hammer for their sound effects coming in for this flight. The radar has been changed from the abilities radar that we had during the previous flight to now the classic motion tracker, which I personally liked the previous one, but I'm guessing motion tracker is probably more friendly to newer and kind of more social play as well. You're able to preview AI voice before you actually select that item as well. Uh, Spartan chatter seems to be kind of reduced with the thresholds being increased, so you'll be hearing over yonder a little less often. We'll be having the new medals that were showcased in the tech preview learnings blog that we had, so I'm really excited about that. We have improvements to the overshield and damage taken for like the shield flare of players. Improvements to the sensitivity when it comes to five times scope, so the sniper rifle should be feeling a little less clunky. Screen shake bug has been fixed where now if you disable it, it actually does disable it and the drop wall has been changed where it actually deploys a bit faster than previously. I think the big thing a lot of people are going to be looking at when it comes to this flight are going to be the weapon tunings and the sandbox balance as a whole because we've got a decent idea of how the balancing kind of works with the previous flight but we won't really know how the balancing kind of works if some things like the commando need to be nerfed or if the sidekick needs to be buffed or nerfed or something like that because we did see that the sidekick and commando can kill very quickly faster than a battle rifle which has brought up many concerns within the community but I think we just need to wait until we get a chance to play some PvP to truly understand and how these weapons fit within the sandbox and what needs to be tweaked from there. And I guarantee if I find out anything that seems to be a little too overpowered or underpowered or something that needs to be fixed or something that needs to be updated, I guarantee I'll let you guys know on this channel. And if you're new to this channel or missing any content from me recently, here's a playlist with all my Halo news informational videos right there that I upload daily about. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.